Do you know that Microsoft Teams can be used to plan all the tasks for your team members? Now, if you still think Microsoft Teams is like Zoom or Google Meet, then you must watch this video where I will show you how to use Microsoft Teams to plan all the tasks for your team members as well as a projects. Now, let's go to my Microsoft Teams and I will show you how. Now, I'm in the Microsoft team right now. You can see my cursor right over here. So if you come in, usually you will have this like your team general. And you see that I have this task tab right over here. Now, if you're not used this function before, you wouldn't see this task tab. So let me show you step number one, how to set this up. So go to this plus sign, click on this plus sign, and then I want you to type in planner, P-L-A-N-N-E-R. And you can see this, right? Task by planner. So what you're going to do is that you click on this plus, and then it will ask you whether you want to create a new plan or you want to use your existing plan. If you have not used the planner before, then go ahead and create a new plan, okay? So just, just set your task name, right? Your planner, where the tab that you want to call it. So it can be your team or your project name, anything, right? So once you click here and then you save, you will create a tab like, like what you see in my Microsoft Teams. So now I'm not going to add it right over here. So let me close this and go to the tab and show you how it looks like. So let's go to the task here and you can see that so this is the, the planner or the task, okay? Now, there are three columns over here. When you first come in, I believe you only have like one column, all right? So you can basically add any bucket, right? It's called, the column is called bucket. So you wanna add a new bucket. Let's say I wanna have like uh, task pending or let me put, let's say I want to have like KIV task, okay? King view task. I can put it right over here. So now if any of the tasks that is suddenly, hey, okay, I want to hold on hold this, I can move it right over here. And you can see that all this is a card, right? Assuming that this is like a post-it notes, you can move it around, okay? Now this, this whole structure is what we call Kanban in Agile Planning. So if you want to learn more about Agile Planning, do follow me for more. Or if you have your colleagues or your team who want to learn more about all this Agile Planning, you can contact us for more details. Now, right over here, once you create this, now on top of this here, usually we just put to do in progress, complete or KIV, or sometimes we put parking lots. These are the most common so-called Kanban board. Now, you can also set it up in terms of your workflow. So if you want to find out more, just leave a comment, right? Workflow means like, for example, if you have, if you're doing sales, you can put in your sales final workflow. So the workflow would look like something like step one, what do you do? Step two, what do you do? Step three, the whole process. Now, if you are like me, a lean Six Sigma consultant, you can put in the bucket as the first phase is follow your DMAC process or PDCA process. So you can customize all this to suit your requirement. Now, once you have all these buckets set up, then what you can do is that you can create the task. So very simple. All you need to do is add task here. And then let me show you, right? task sample, okay? So when I add my task here, so I can go in and there, you can actually assign to any team members that you want within that team, right? So you just click here and then assign. Now this is just a demo so I can assign to myself. Once you assign to the person, he or she will get a notification, all right? So, now you can also put in labels or tag if you want. And here you can uh, create this, okay? The bucket is the column. And usually this is important, the due date, yeah? 
So you want to set a due date, a deadline. Let's say you need this to be done in fr on Friday. So you can set it up so that your team member who are assigned, they know that they need to complete this by this due date. Now, if you want to add on more like description, you can put in right over here, as well as if you want to have a checklist to complete this task, maybe you need to complete three different uh, so-called job, right? So maybe another small or sub task, right? So sub task one, okay, sub task two, and so on. And sometimes this is sort of a reminder I need, I need to complete all this in order to complete this task, yeah? Now, if you want, you can also have an attachment like documents and, and so on. So if this checklist, if you want to show on card, meaning that, let me show you, right? If you show a card, it will come out like this, yeah? Meaning that from here, automatically you can see all the subtasks, right? So this kind of like checklist is so good about this. And at the same time, if you don't want it to show also fine, you unclick this and then you can see that it's, I mean, it's gone, the, the subtask, but it shows you there are two subtasks right over here. Zero slash two means that none has been complete. So if you go and click complete one, okay, you can see this is one over two. Yeah. Now, you can also here in this, all the team members can also come here and leave a comment, right? So if you want to put in a comment, so comment about uh, this task. So everyone can, can actually leave a comment right over here, yeah, about this task. So this is super useful, especially when you collaborate on the task. All right, hope I show you some good picture that you can use this to plan for your whole team and improve your work productivity. Let me know whether this video is useful to you or not. If you're interested to learn more about Microsoft Teams or work productivity, do follow me for more.